minutes ahead. Congratulations, Gemma. You're going to... Oh, we're going to have a bat. And here's the first runs pulled away aggressively, as you'd expect, from Patterson. She opens her account with a boundary. Shortish ball. She was onto it immediately. First runs off the bat. SA none for six. Again, pulled away beautifully by Patterson. Wonderful shot down the backward square for four. Shortish again. Patterson taking full advantage. Ten runs from the Cleary over. Shortish ball went for the pull high over the top. We get away with it. And once more, it's yeah, going to be a boundary. The order go up one with Barsby going into that spot. And we've seen Amanda Wellington. Oh, big shout. It was at an edge outside. It was. First wicket down. The Hills, uh, pardon me, should I say. Cleary has been just troubling outside the off stump. And that occasion, she's got the edge. Oh, that's a lovely shot. She's just driven her straight back over her head. That was four runs. And it's over so far. Patterson goes again and she split the fielders and that will also go to four down to the um, deep mid-off boundary. And that's very well struck. She's driven that down the ground. It's got through the fielders and that will go down to the mid-on boundary for four. Well, that's terrific patience there from Josie Dooley and she's played that stroke beautifully. Patterson goes again and it's got through the mid on fielder and that will go away to the boundary for another four runs. It's well played. That's got through Paparo and it's got through the uh, fielder at mid off as well and that's gone for four runs. Beautifully struck there. Zoe Brickcliffe not having a fantastic time of it in the field this morning. Bit of a shout, pushed on the offside. Another dot ball. This could be out and is out. Went for the pull shot, didn't time it. And down the throat of Wiley it went. So South Australia lose their second wicket. Driven nicely through the covers. She's just got a hand on that, but she will get the single. And that's a and 50. That is that is Bridget Patterson's 50. That's a beautifully constructed 50 from 65 balls, striking at a rate of 77, and she'll be very pleased with herself. Oops, a couple of days ago, they probably haven't been able to string as many bowling partnerships together today, which has been harder to build the pressure. Um, and you can just see this. It's, it's... And there we go. She slapped that down to fine leg, and it's got past the fine leg fielder for four runs beautifully struck Webb doesn't really get onto that but she's going to get four runs for it attempting the square drive she's just got a bit of slight outside edge on that but uh, never any danger of it being yeah. caught and she's brought up a 50 with that shot as well tosses it up and that is the hundred for Bridget Patterson. It's an extremely well put together innings. 100 runs off 118 balls. And loud applause coming from her compatriots down below us in South Australia. Holds her bat up. Well done, Bridget. She's timed the ball absolutely superbly today. Ooh, she's just waited on the Oh, oh that no. is devastating. Bridget Patterson has been run out on 102, having had a ball smashed back her way at the bowler's end and uh, Brickcliffe able to get a hand on it. Oh, Steps whooshka. away, big swing, and She's that's out. Got a tickle on caught that. Caught behind. So Penner is on her way, caught behind by Dark off the bowling of Cleary. It's a flat batted effort. Could be a catch. No, it's been dropped out at the deep mid wicket boundary. She's hit it like a tracer bullet, but they'll come back for two. It's Matilda Carmichael who's dropped the catch there, unfortunately. As Webb steps away, tries to pull, goes to ground. No call. And Webb, <laughs> bang, Shot. crunch. 
right back down the ground, giving across the line the old cross bat swipe, but it got maximum reward there as she ends with a boundary off the last ball. And she cuts Courtney Neal away down through the gully region, and that has gone for four runs. That's a lovely cut shot from Dark. That was four from the time it left the bat. Neil just struggling a bit with her line at this stage. Cut again, and that will be four again. And Paparo drives that back. She split the two mid off and on fielders. I don't think Mashangwe is going to stop this, and it goes for four. So, second four to Chloe Paparo. Cuts away through covers, and that's going to go down to the boundary for four runs. Beautiful position from Maddie Dark. Oh, and she swung at that. It's gone through the vacant slips region and down to the boundary for four. She's back in there now for this Wilson over. And Paparo has cut that away through the gully for four runs. Splits the gully and the point fielder. And the line looked pretty good, mm. so potentially saving Grace wasn't inside edge. But that's chipped up to a flying Courtney Neal there, fielding at mid-wicket. Just beats the right Duke and, as a result, has gone to the boundary. We know anything through the inner field at Karen Rolton Oval goes to the boundary. Again, the quick single. Charging out from behind the stumps there, do we? Shortish one, pulled away and caught straight away. They get the result. That's exactly what they were looking for. Penner into the attack, forces the error, and Western Australia lose their first wicket. But we've all been there and we've all done that to the leg spinner. So uh, well played, Matty Penner. Yes, it's nothing like a ranked short ball, is there? Again, that's a lovely drive through the covers. No need to run. They'll just have a glove punch in the middle because that ball has gone over the cover boundary for four runs. Oh, oh she's lifted that. There's a field opportunity. Drops between the two fielders between Neil. Hopefully, she can target that area again. As she As does, does it's it's another shot. Big, Big shot given. She gets the wicket. Michonne Woe's bowled so well has got the breakthrough, the second wicket down for Western Australia. Carmichael on her way, LBW Bowl Mishonway for 30. Eagle. Fantastic stuff. He's been in the hot seat today, had a few tough and tight decisions to make. And there it is, a fantastic century from Chloe Paparo. Ella Wilson saves it and she just gets the single, but that is a terrific century in the context of this game. Hold your bat up, Chloe Paparo. You are leading this team superbly. She's very excited and very pleased with herself, and well may she be. That's a terrific innings. Square leg boundary. Oh, and Paparo has just popped that up, and it has gone to mid-wicket. That's a skipper, Gemma Barsby. Forward delivery from Peterson. It's well played. Oh, that is close and given. Kurt Meagle. He's been under the pump all day there. Our umpire, also commentator. And he's given that one out. A fantastic bit of work from Maddie Penner, is it? Clips it down through mid wicket. Oh. Oh, hits the stumps. Is that out? It is. Oh, amazing feeling again from South Australia. They cannot miss with these throws. Day was sprinting down, trying to make her ground. Didn't get there. She's run out for eight. Hits that straight to the fielder at mid-wicket. She's out first ball. And South Australia have taken the sixth Western Australian wicket. 16 runs still needed. Full toss, hits it strongly, but straight to the fielder. Another wicket is down. The key player in Edgar is gone for 18. Wide one, and that'll do it. Ainsworth swings it, it gets the outside edge. It races away to the boundary for four. And Western Australia have won by three wickets.